Google has severely disrupted the data science education industry with the release of the Google Data Analytics Certificate hosted by Coursera. Google, along with 130 other employers in their consortium, are stating that they will be accepting this certificate as an equivalent for a four-year degree for entry-level data analyst roles. As the number of job opportunities continue to rise in data analytics, combined with extremely competitive salaries, it makes one beg the question if the certificate is too good to be true. What up, data nerds? I'm Luke, a data analyst, and my channel is all about tech and skills for data science. And I recently did a video about the Google Data Analytics Certificate hosted by Coursera. And I received a lot of questions from you all asking about the usefulness of this certificate. In order to better answer your questions, I recently spoke with four graduates of the Google Data Analytics Certificate to better understand what their experience was like going through the program. And I'm sharing a lot of those key takeaways with you today. For the questions themselves, I focused on four main topic areas. So specifically, one, what were your overall thoughts on the course itself? Two, what are your plans for succeeding now that you have the certificate? Three, what is the job search and market like? And then four, will the certificate alone get you a job? As a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored and neither Google nor Coursera had any say in the contents of this video. For the interviews themselves, however, Coursera was gracious enough to put me in contact with three of the four graduates that I spoke with. First up is Anant, and he is a professional filmmaker based out of India. During the pandemic, his cell phone business took a major hit, and now he's looking to transition into data science. He's hoping to combine his industry knowledge with his newfound data analytical skills to land him his job of a marketing data insights analyst. Next up is Paul. Paul is originally from Lebanon and is finishing up his degree in transportation engineering. He has just begun his job search, and so he's looking for opportunities that combine both his engineering degree and his passion for data science. Then there's Antonio, and Antonio recently graduated with a business degree with a specialization in management. Interesting enough, a few days before our interview, he had actually just started his first job as a quality assurance data analyst for a popular web services company. Additionally, I talked to my own contact, which was Wale from the YouTube channel, The Work Life Man, which I'll include a link for above. And Wale is a full-time data analyst, and he took the certificate in order to have a better understanding of what the certificate offerings were and to better inform his subscribers. Now that we have a better understanding of everybody, let's actually dive into the questions. The first one we're gonna focus on is actually understanding what was everybody's overall thoughts on the general course contents that were provided to them. So let's start with Paul, who provided a great overview of the course. The certificate kind of is targeted towards beginners. So I would say like the first three courses of the certificate are very basic. If you have like zero knowledge, because they take it very slowly. There's eight courses in the certificate and it's not up until like uh, fourth course that you start learning like the hard stuff like SQL, Tableau and R. With that, I get a lot of questions around what experience is needed for the course. And as Paul demonstrated here, no experience is necessary and it will ramp up as you go along in the course. Additionally, I thought Anant shared an interesting aspect of the course as well. The best part about this course is not the technical skills that they teach you, because that can be learned from any place. But this course really concentrated a lot on the soft skills, or uh, more, if I say so, the culture of uh, the data world, how the job is, you know, what do you actually need to do in the job. So that is where that course really stood out for me. That it made me realize what I want to do in data analysis. One aspect that I didn't really consider when making my first video on this course was that this may be actually a good opportunity for those that have a degree that is non-data analytical based. And I think this is a good insight that Paul shared. That's the thing, that's the thing, because in my major, for example, we only learn like MATLAB. There's a huge focus on MATLAB, but yeah. now there's tools like Python and R and like uh, data analysis tools like Tableau and mm -hmm. whatnot. And you don't, you don't really get the, like, but you, you don't get the chance to learn these tools in school. Now we also went into some not so great aspects of the course itself. And Antonio shared a pretty great insight of how the course focused a lot or maybe too much on spreadsheets. And I do think in the beginning, it focuses too much on like Excel and like, what is data analysis? Like, 
I like, yeah, Excel is important to know, but that isn't what you're going to use probably on a day to day, you yeah. know, analyze everything. Like, it really, the big thing that I've seen, like, a lot of jobs ask for is, like, you know, of SQL. Another big concern that I saw, not only in these interviews, but from the questions that we received, is the choice of programming language. A lot of people aren't satisfied with the choice of R for a programming language instead of using Python. I, I, I mean, I guess it could be good to know, but. It, most places, you know, want Python and stuff like that, so. Maybe if we get enough comments from the community on this, we can actually get Google to revise the course in the future to have Python instead of R. I will note, however, that I actually started my data science journey with learning R, and then I switched over to Python. So I really don't think it's that bad of a problem that you can't overcome and switch to Python. It's just sort of more of an inconvenience. But overall, from question everybody, it seemed like everybody agreed that the certificate itself was worth the cost and effort. It, it, it pays for itself in the end. You, like, yeah. I, I can tell you that's for sure. Yeah, you can make that in a, in a single day <laughs> right. if you get a job and what you want to do. So let's wrap this section up by discussing who this certificate is not really aimed for. And that is those that have that work experience in data analytics. If you have two years experience as a data analyst, then most of what is being taught on the course are things that you already know, right? Right, And it probably won't make so much of a difference. Okay, so now let's get into the second section. We're gonna be focusing on here is, what is everybody's plans for succeeding in their job search now that they have this certificate? Let's start with Antonio, the business major that recently landed his job as a data analyst on what his strategy was. I thought it would be good to have on a resume because I don't have, you know, a computer science degree or something like that. You know, like, oh, I could do like a data science or data analytics job. So I thought it'd be good to put on a resume. I also asked Antonio if he thought the certificate alone got him his job. And although he said it did help, he pointed to some other reasons why he also landed his job. I wouldn't say it was specifically the certificate. I did have like, I did some like related internships that did kind of some similar stuff or like had some component of like SQL or R or something like that related to it. So I think Antonio makes an excellent example for others to follow in that you need to show some sort of experience of your data analytical skills. So Antonio has this internship and I went to see what others had. So for Anant himself, he's showcasing his experience through his portfolio. Currently, I've been building a portfolio. So I have like four or five projects right now. And the portfolio projects that Anant is working on are tied to his past experiences and his passions. When I show it to a potential recruiter or anyone, they should know what I am about. For the case of Paul, he is trying to differentiate himself from his engineering classmates in order to stand out with his newly found data analytical skills. Combined transportation engineering as well as data science. It's not really common for a civil engineer to also have data science skills, so I feel it's, it's a good path I'm pursuing. I think so as well. So now let's move into the third section and understanding what is the job market and the job search like trying to use the certificate and your skills in order to land a job. So let's start with Antonio to understand what process he took to land his job, if he used the job resources provided by Coursera and Google, or if he used his own. I found this job on LinkedIn. I think that LinkedIn is a great source to look for jobs. That's personally where I've I look the entire time because they have an abundance of jobs and it is updated quite frequently. So I would go on there daily and apply to like 10 or 15 jobs every day until I would like hear back. Antonio did point out one humbling part of the job search process that I think we all need to realize. Not to get discouraged because it can be very easy to get discouraged. You know, I applied to 150 plus jobs probably before I got this job. And it, it wasn't a quick interview process either. It, you know, it took about a month to get the job. But what about those that are currently looking for a job? Let's go with Paul first to see how he's using his certificate combined with LinkedIn to potentially find a job. As soon as I posted the certificate on my LinkedIn profile, I felt that I started getting much more exposure to yeah. the company. And I've been contacted by a few employers and I'm getting really positive feedback on my data, data analysis skills. That's so I really feel it does contribute to me finding a job, hopefully. Although Paul is from Lebanon, he's focusing his job search for the US. Let's take a look at other regions of the world and we'll first start with India. First of all, the thing is that India, 
very competitive especially if, if you have a background which is not a uh, core uh, information technology not core it most of the jobs which i come across uh, either they will mention that you need uh, electronics or you need computers or you need it so i'm like okay and then uh, even if the job mentions freshers there will be a factor 2 plus years of experience and what about even other regions of the world such as africa so it's it's kind of i think it's positive um it's not as high as um you would find in the US or in Europe right um i think in nigeria in nigeria and, and i think in africa at large we're just coming to terms with using data to make decisions finally let's get into the last section of understanding the certificate itself of will it alone land you a job as a data analyst because there seems to be a lot of questions and concerns around this from the discussions that i had with everybody it seemed that everybody was focusing their efforts on using linkedin as the primary resource to find jobs and not necessarily using the resources from coursera and google and their consortium of employers i did talk with antonio about his thoughts on the Coursera job portal and how the contents of it has shifted over his job search over the past few months. They had some more like data analytics jobs available than when I was looking at it though. It's not like a crazy huge amount honestly. Like it isn't like oh here's a bunch of jobs set aside for if you finish this certificate. He also did mention that The majority of jobs were looking for people with work experience, but there were some available that were looking for certificate holders. This is like for if you did the certificate. I think it says oh, I yeah, require go with Google Analytics certificate. But even in this job posting, they wanted you to demonstrate some sort of experience via such as a portfolio. And I think this answers the question on if this certificate alone will get you a job. This isn't going to get you a job anywhere by itself without any without doing more beyond it. So how can you use this certificate then to get a job? I think Paul is an excellent example of this of how he's using his domain knowledge combined with his newly acquired skills in order to be more successful in his job search. Yeah, I felt the need I had to do this by myself. Yeah. And um it it's it's working out i feel it's really important because like employers are actually praising me for like this skill like really? my data analysis skills uh-huh. yeah so let's close this section off by looking at a strategic approach you can take if you're not finding that dream job after acquiring the certificate you know encourage people not to be too close minded on data analysis data analyst data analyst because you know you might not just get that job <laughs> you know right here in Nigeria I don't know maybe in, in the UK, US it might be different what you want to do is just to grab whatever job you can grab your hands on grab your hands on that job and then learn data analyst you know analysis as you as you take on that job and from there start building up your experience and worth in this field And really what really helped me is the fact that you know if you if you're on a job you have you have access to data sets right you have access to data sets you have access to domain knowledge those two combination of domain knowledge and access to data that you understand mm-hmm. you know is going to just is going to you know give you that um exponential uh you know a uh, push right right mm-hmm. into data into data analysis or data science. I love me some Wale. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. I really felt like these interviews answered a lot of my own questions and I hope that they answered questions and concerns that you had about the certificate itself. Additionally, I feel that this helped confirm that those that are new to data analytics and new to this field that this is the best option for you to go out and actually learn the skills that you need for this job. I would, however, adjust your expectations and understand that you're not going to necessarily get a job just because you have the certificate. You're going to need to put in the work and actually build up your work experience by demonstrating this in your portfolio. As always, if you got value out of this video, smash that like button. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, I guess. But I know. Same, same. <laughs>